all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back updates and information as cd hot in case you have not joined our social media and what are you waiting for kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop you will be the first we'll collect them let's go down to the news proper as cd hot you don't shell it as the nig army them boys don't do what no good for village of omunze in anambra state as the nigerian soldiers invaded church uh, in omunze this past worship worshipers uh will be say they day for that place omunze day for orumba south local government area of anambra state uh please if you are here Part of our followers if you are following us on this channel and um uh, you are from omunze orumba south local government area please kindly comment on the comment section let's know the situation of what is happening down there on in omunze as soldiers has been accused of invading churches in omunze there as it is they also disperse the worshippers that are there but as it is uh, the nig soldiers nig uh, army nigerian army has dismissed that report as false first of all before i go down to the full detail of the information on what happened at that woman there i want to ask first has there been any point in time that nigerian soldiers has taken responsibility of their their nonchalant act or their nonchalant attitude towards the citizens of this nation remember what happened some time ago in Olu, where a lot of youths who were going to a wedding ceremony uh, were sent to their early grave and other things that have happened in so many many places uh okuoma case and the rest of them uh, at every point in time the Nigerian military has always been on the defensive side. Without properly advising their troops, without properly advising their soldiers, without properly uh, uh, giving a proper instruction or carrying out an investigation. You know, one thing is that whenever these things come up, you will see that the, the, the head of the soldier will, will come up the next day and start defending his people. And I wonder, does it mean that these people cannot be able to carry out an investigation to be able to ascertain what actually happened? Meanwhile, let's go down to the full detail of the information. Let's go down to the full detail of the information on what happened there. A report surfaced last Sunday alleging that some soldiers invaded Catholic church churches and dispersed worshippers at Umunze community in Orumba South local government area of Anambra State. The Nigerian army has dismissed as false a report that its troop invaded churches and dispersed worshippers from churches in Anambra State, Nigeria Southeast. A report surfaced last Sunday alleging that some soldiers invaded some Catholic churches and dispersed worshippers at Umunze, a community in Orumba South local government area of the state. But responding to an inquiry by the news agency of Nigeria, the Army spokesperson Onye Mawachuku refuted the report. Mr. Mawachuku, a major general, said the soldiers only conducted a cardon and search operation in the area and did not invade churches. He said the operation was conducted by troops of the 82 Division of Nigerian Army. The Army spokesperson explained that the operation followed a tip-off that the assailants who attacked and killed some troops earlier were receiving medical treatment in a house close to a Catholic church in the area. During the operation, the troops evacuated the people who were considered vulnerable if a shootout ensued to avoid collateral damage. The cordon and search on the community was to enable the troops to arrest some accomplices who escaped with gunshot wounds and bloodstained from the attack that killed two of the military troops, Mr. Wachuku said. He pointed out that although the tip-off they got was that the assailants were receiving treatment within the house, 
The soldiers later realized that the suspect had already left the building before the operation. It is most unfortunate that the operation took place on Sunday, he said. The army spokesperson claimed that the deployment of the troops in the area was expedient because of increased case of kidnapping and ransom collecting by criminals in Omunze. He claimed that the deployment of troops in Omunze community has helped to reduce kidnap attacks in the area. The troop will continue to ensure the safety of all the citizens, he assured. Omunze, like other communities in Anambra state, has witnessed frequent attack by government said to be part of Biafra agitation in the region. The Biafra agitation has accused many casualties, has caused many casualties on the side of the ag agitators and the Nigerian security agencies, including the army. In September 2022, for instance, government killed five soldiers in Omunze community in one of the brutal attacks in the area. In May last year, some armed person killed three police operatives at a chicken point in the community. The Nigerian government has accused the indigenous people of Biafra of being responsible for the deadly attack in the region. However, the group has reportedly denied any involvement in the attack. IPOB is leading the agitation for an independent state of Biafra, which it wants carved out from the southeast and some part of the south out Nigeria. All right, that's the full detail of that particular information there. Uh, Nigerian army has um, denied of uh, dispersing worshippers. According to them, uh, they say they were doing Operation Kodon and such uh, in order to be able to ascertain what is happening in that particular area of Omonze. Uh, that according to them, that there was a shootout uh, between the Nigerian soldiers and some unknown government uh, which resulted to casualty to the side of the unknown government and to them uh, they said according to them that there is information that those uh, who battled that battle with nigerian army who received gun wounds uh, were treating themselves close to the catholic church that soldiers entered and dispersed worshippers uh, they said they dispersed the people uh, to avoid uh, casualties okay uh, if you there for that two uh, drop your comment on the comment section. As it be, Chinese investors has taken over Nigerian guest house in UK to sell them on eBay for 3.4 billion naira, which is 22.2 million dollars. <laughs> oh, say Taylor, um, the country is going down. The ship keeps sinking, and nobody is doing anything. Let's go down to the full detail of the information. Uh, remember. Uh, that uh, here is 3.2 billion that's the reason why these people want to sell uh, this building but remember that the president just bought uh, his um, presidential jet that is worth 150 billion a chinese investment group zongzang uh, fuchent industrial investment limited is set to list two residential structures it confiscated from Nigeria for sale on global online marketplace eBay. According to a report from Papers Gazette, Zhang is raising to recover up to $70 million in arbitration award from NIFWEI. The group took possession of two buildings linked to the Nigerian government in Liverpool, United Kingdom in June 2024, years after Nigeria failed to settle an arbitration judgment handed down in 2021. The properties, 15 Airbuck Hall Road, Liverpool, and Beach Lodge, 49 Kedarstones Road, Liverpool, were targeted after a December 2021 British court order gave Zan executive the power to see the Nigerian assets in the UK to retrieve the 70 million payment which remain outstanding as August 20, 2024, with 2% 2 monthly interest accruer. Zonshan was awarded $55,675 million plus interest of $9,400 million and cost of two and cost of 
864,445 million pounds as of the date of the arbitration verdict on March 26, 2024, court document said. The case stemmed from a dispute between Zengzan and Ogun State. The firm said the state violated a 2001 trade threat between Nigeria and China when it tried to a free trade zone where resided in 2016. The company dragged Nigeria before the arbitration panel in the UK in 2018, alleging that Nigeria allowed its federal organs like the police, immigration, and exports processing authorities to be deployed by Ogun State without due process. Court documents said two Zanzan executives were expelled from Nigeria between mid-late 2016 after one of them had allegedly been detained and tortured by police. Um, my people, my people, they are too for the church. Ha, election is low. La, alu ana alu bon ana alu po. Tinubu galu to pia as you debi. Meanwhile, remember that these Chinese folks are mining gold like waiting no good for Nigeria. Uh, but nobody to talk about that one. But not me go talk am. Um, you no go hear am from my mouth. Kemesi ano ngwa ngwa no munne.